Hey guys, it's Xavier Kelly, and in today's video, I'm going to go through and show you how to set up a portfolio on Instagram for free. I'm just going to walk you through a couple case scenarios of different people that I've seen who are doing it very well. And this is really for anyone who is really trying to set up a portfolio who doesn't have a website like as you see right here. Um, as, you know, as you see on my portfolio, um, you don't have something like this that you can put your items on. I'm going to walk you through basically just how to set up this same similar thing but using Instagram. So that it's more likely to be shared and also a lot more people are, are going to be able to view it. And this is a good option. So I'm going to walk you through just a couple of the, of the examples that I have. So starting off with is Seb Lester. Um, he does um, basically handwritten typography. Um, he does some amazing work on here. As you can just see from some of the videos right here where he goes through um, just kind of like showing how he creates it and showing a little background. It's kind of very unique and cool. You don't see many other people do this, this right here. Most people just show the end result. He actually shows how he actually gets to that. So this is an interesting way to do it. You can possibly use this right here to show basically um you know not just what you're doing um in the end result but how you got to that point as you can see he used video and also um with with instagram you can use videos so for those people who are um who are videographers who are editors or anything in the video field or if you're working on something that you might that let's say that an image won't show the full effect of then um you can be, be, basically be able to show that in a video in your portfolio so as you can see he shows behind the scenes of how he cr actually creates them which sets him apart and this is one reason why he has over a million followers as well and he does a mix of videos and basically um images and he goes through and just creates other different designs as well so not just on his own um ones but he also creates um different brand designs and other stuff for different people as well and he really used different types of of lettering and um just basically he does a lot of different variations of different things he does I would say he is one of the biggest people that I've seen and that um, I really um, like the most as you can see just on here right here he has tons of work on here he did Tesla not too long ago this right here was pretty amazing um, so this is pretty good right here so I'm gonna walk you through how to do those as well how to set that up hey studio does one as well they're more about graphic design and basically you create their portfolio on here and it's a good way you can just direct people if you don't have a website you can say hey just go check out my portfolio on Instagram and this can be the same thing such as videos or anything you basically want to show so even if you create um hand wooden draw hand wooden um, dolls then um, you can showcase them on them by using video or if you also um, you know just take photos of it and also too it's, it's some another way I haven't seen many people utilize this because I think they are a better platform but you also can use the same thing to display different um, audios as well if you're into music or different sounds as well um, also you should look into sound to, to um, cut that and also for audio um, you can look into um, doing putting your audios up here and just putting your um, music and putting your cover art on here as well is a good way to, to really build your audience as well on that using Instagram so uh, another um, person is um, is Anna she's pretty good she's more photography and her th I would say um she does says graphic design for film I basically want to put her kind of in the cinematography um portion of this right here she does very good um cinematography work and even just like the photos she takes and also like a lot of the stuff she does she's just hand drawing um different things as well as you can see it looks very well but you can see this is how she built her portfolio and this is a good way for you basically to go through it and build out and actually get clients as well using this strategy. Just head up to Kristen Hayes. Kristen Hayes, um, he's a he's a um he's actually a scene designer at Native Shoe. Um and basically he goes through and does a lot of stuff at different product placement, advertisement, and he does wonderful and a really well great looking um product placement. And this is more for ads and also just for just showing off the product. As you can see on his, he goes over a lot of different things. He has a little mix of himself in here. And I'm gonna kind of go through why you should probably create this right here. And you can have this besides like next to your portfolio, um, actually on your um, on your own Instagram page, or you can have this as a separate one, which I'm gonna do actually separate. So you can kind of keep both brands on basically on the other side. 
and just so you can have like a good way to separate them, them from each other um it's very easy to do um these are just some great examples to give you some quick ideas and i'm going to show you i'm going to set mine up as well um this one is castro is basically castro's portfolio he's more a little bit more professional and he kind of utilized basically uh of conjoining everything together and then creating it kind of like a, a booklet but more as a look using all the squares and every single thing that and making it very um symmetrical it, it looks very nice on here and very clear as you can see um as you go down he goes through and shows all his works and especially like this right here how it comes out a little bit it makes it um, pop out as well um and you can see that he does a lot of different work um you can see that they don't have huge followings on here yet but these people that follow them that love their work and these people you actually can use to possibly be able to um to quickly and easily um, be able to, to sell their services to or the first one to oh who wants to see what what they have done before so as we could go straight into it let's go into actually setting it up right now um you know most people just go ahead and head over to instagram and just type in it's put it instagram.com and then on the front page it'll easily just tell you where to sign up at i'm going to use my email so i mean to sign in um from there and then Put your full name um i'm gonna because i'm gonna use this i'm gonna convert this into a business account later on um so that's basically what i what i'm gonna do right here and i, I would suggest you do this too if you do have a, a personal one and i'm gonna name it basically my first name and la last name and then my pro and then name it portfolio and then as they are it gives you one already and then as a password just put something that you know will be easy enough to remember <laughs> for you so um, something to work with. I use last password or generate passwords is really easy. Um, something you can really easily easily do. And then you just sign up, and then right now Instagram does the rest of the work. You have everything set up for you. And then as you can see, you can add a a, a profile photo. So basically, what I'm going to do for that my profile photo, I already kind of have everything kind of segmented into a different um, folder as you can see um, right here in the portfolio fo folder I'm just gonna grab this one right here and I'm gonna basically move this over to here and I would say if you can if you are doing this for your brand then you can use a logo um, that's if you have like an agency or you have a company and you're trying to show your work off from there you can use a company but if you're a personal if you're using your personal brand you can use a logo that represents you or a logo or just a just basically um, just an image of yourself or anything along that line for you to be able to identify with. I'm gonna use this image right here. And I also really recommend using the same images you have on all your other personal branding or logos you have on all your other different social media sites, your website, and everything along that as line as, as well. And then you just upload those and Instagram's gonna do the rest with that when it does upload. And once we set everything up right there, um all we're gonna do we can add in basically um we're gonna edit our profile. Um I'm gonna put my Link to my website on here and it's gonna be this link to my portfolio and so people can see other work I have on top of this and you can see and then the bio right here I should have a um, bio already written out on my on my home page um, I'm just gonna use this one right here it's something small this should fit right here and then um, this information probably you can put this in down if you want to. Um, not specific. Um, I'm gonna do leave all this the same. Keep everything like that. And then we're gonna just submit. And your profile save. Okay, that's good. So so basically from there, um, we, we already we submitted right there. And another thing we can do as, as well. Um, we actually can go through um, here and then I just want to remind you you're gonna have to actually add in all all of your Images you have to do that through the app you can either do the um, the Windows app They have one on here as well, or you can actually use the actual um, You know use your mobile app to do that But this is just the basic setting up part right here just to go on through that part So this is basically what you're gonna set it up with right here And then you're gonna go through and just add your images on through the application and then from there um, just add each one and just put like a little information about it. So basically, I have mine in a folder right here, as you can see. Um, let me pull it up. So basically, I had a couple of mines right here of different projects I worked on. 
and you just put these up here like you would on your regular um, portfolio and put a little, a little bit of information about it on there and then from there um, it's a good way just for people to kind of tell them what you worked on or tell them what the different techniques you use or anything along that line this is a great way for those people who don't have a website to basically to be able to get a portfolio very easy to do and um, as you can see I'm gonna leave this link down in the description as well so you can go check out mine see how, how mine worked out you'll be able to see it at the very end and see how it's up to date and, and everything like that. you can be able to update this over time and you can do different cool things such as has as I've shown you right here have done um, as you can see there's tons of different things you possibly can do on here um, different ways to possibly go for possibly basically any creative medium you possibly can think about because even web design which I do it for you can do it for logos you can do it for photography, videography, you do it for actually handmade um, items that you're selling online. This is a good way to show off what you possibly can do. Um, and it really it really helps you to basically be able to establish your audience and build your audience. Because then when people come on here and they see you have 16,000 followers, then they're more likely to actually want to buy from you. So as you can see, um, there's many opportunities you can do um, using Instagram to build your portfolio. You can do it just like any of these other people have done it. You can do it at basically no cost, just your time, especially if you already have the items. You can literally get it set up in less than 10 minutes. Very easy to do. Um, so if you like this right here video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up as well. Go ahead and share this with someone who may be looking into um, actually go set up a portfolio and might not have the money or need to have that much time. Something they want to get something set up really quick that they can send people to. It's a great easy way to do it. So please share this video. And comment down below telling me if this is useful, if you like this content, if you want more content like this. And also, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I'm Xavier Kelly, and I'll see you in the next one. So have a wonderful day.